All right, so I've got another quick tip for you here. Um, when you're making cuts with the shaper and you're going from a straight line cut like this to where you're getting into some turns and some spaces like above where there's a, a like a round where it goes from straight to a curve. Um, one of the things I've learned over the years is that it's much better when you're making these transitions from straight lines to curves is rather than trying to work your way through that turn uh, just by moving the shaper, what I do is when I get to the turn, I will hold down the green button and let the auto feature take over and make that cut for you. And then once you've gotten through the curvy parts, then you can release this button and go back to just pushing the straight lines. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about right here uh, by using the um, air cut feature. So I'm gonna start the cut. And now you can see as I'm moving along, it's making the cut just by me pushing. When I get to this turn right here, I'm gonna hold down the green button, let the shaper make that cut, and then I go back to pushing. And when I get to this point, I'm gonna hold down the green button again, and I'm gonna let the shaper do the auto feature and make that cut, it's on its own. And then when you get to the point where you're back to a straight line, then you can begin pushing again. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please comment. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And again, that's just an easy thing to do. It, it's kind of an obvious thing when you're cutting out letters, uh, because oftentimes when you're doing letters, um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna let it do the auto function itself anyway. But when you're cutting out pieces that are larger and outside of this circle, and you get again to a point where there is a turn, it's easier to just hold down this auto button, let the shaper make the turn, then release the auto button, and go back to making the straight cuts by pushing. Thanks for watching.